The Jib Lab at Mountain Creek was responsible for the monster setup at Union Square. Down here at Mountain Creek, they'll show you how to do it. <laughs> These guys have, build, have been building some of the most interesting setups and challenging rails for years. Producer Jason Kuntz, he's going to show us just how they did it. Well, the, the Jibble I was all, actually a, uh, a brainchild from, from Sean and our previous um, welder and park builder, Julian. Um, they came up with the concept, and it was basically to offer our local riders and, and our patrons at Mountain Creek custom-built, in-house-built jib features. We, we were able to start making our own jibs with basically no restrictions. The design process is, is very similar to the way you would go about designing anything else from a, from a car to a house to, a, you know, um, to a, a chair. We go through tons of magazines, we look at pictures on the internet, we watch videos, we see what other people are doing, um, what other mountains are doing. Um, what the kids are really into. At the beginning of the year we invited some of our locals and our park crew staff and we kind of just had a discussion on what we liked about Creek, what we didn't like and kind of what we can do to improve. We then you know come up with concepts in our head from the inspirations, transfer them to paper as sketches, then they are transferred to uh, the steel and we start cutting. This season, uh, there's been a, a big change. The main park builder and designer moved to another position at another mountain, which put myself and Mark Tremaine in the position of uh, handling a lot more with the terrain parks. Um, pretty much uh, my other job besides the gym lab is I'm the Parks and Pipes foreman, uh, so I have to manage the Parks and Pipes staff uh, every day, do routine uh, checks on the park, help them open the park, make sure all the rails are set up correctly, the takeoffs are squared off and clean, and uh, make sure everything's safe before the park opens, uh, that way when the riders come in they can just shred the park. Uh, hey, what's going on? Uh, my name is Andrew Nagel. Uh, we're here at Mountain Creek today, about to go take a run through the main park, and uh, we'll show you some of the features. Uh, it starts off with a kink box, uh, next would be a step down, it's probably about 40-45 feet, it's a nice little hit. Next would be a spine, uh, and you have the option to go left or right on either, either trail. Um, the next feature would be a channel gap, which ranges to about 30 feet, 40 foot square street style bar and then after that you go down to the sugar park which would have a flat box the top of the apex wall ride um, and then a double feature would be a kink fat bob rail and a mellow C street style round rail a nice little intermediate or beginner kicker probably about 20 25 feet um, and then the wall ride with the bank top to finish it up it's a pretty sick run this year uh, can't wait to get more up well, it'll be pretty fun. Well, for, for Union Square, there was an incredible amount of planning, uh, design, labor. It was very time consuming, uh, especially uh, seeing that this was our first project as kind of a, a reborn jib lab. Basically, uh, my foreman, Chris Vanderyot, he's he was in there every day, sweating it out, doing all the real hard work. Um, Greg, our welder, has done a, an incredible job with um, the quality of his work. We're really, really happy with the way things have gone with Chris and Greg working on this project. The Union Square Street Sessions, we knew that the staircase would be the perfect centerpiece to use in, in that event and kind of un, unleash it to the public and uh, get the kids even more stoked to have that feature um, 
come back to their home terrain park here at Mountain Creek. The Jeep rail was something that developed long after the, the stairs had been started. Um, and it wasn't until the third or fourth site visit that we knew for sure that we were going to be building a rail on top of a brand new Jeep. And when, when we were presented with that, it was kind of, uh, you know, something that I, I never imagined I'd be doing or that we'd be doing or, or anything like that. It, it was just totally, totally new to us, exciting at the same time. So we said, yeah, and before you know it, we had a brand new 2007 Jeep Wrangler four-door on our hands that we had to uh, use as our pallet and uh, just build right off of it. And here comes Scotty 